what made you decide to call CBS Philadelphia? Hold your horses. It's not something you see every day, a horse going full speed, galloping on the shoulder of I-95. Oh, I'm dear. I hope, hope this horse don't get hurt. It was <laughs> the most majestic thing I had ever seen. Heart, hustle, home. Take a look. We have tracked down this runaway horse in Port Richmond. We don't know what happened, so at the end of the day, we got the horse back. I have a theory. The Broad Street run was announced yesterday. Who's in it? Maybe the horse is in it and is getting ready for the run. I just said, if I call them, they'll handle it. When you have a gift, we have a moral obligation, right, to make people look beautiful. We are proud to tell our stories. I'm in Jonas Cosmetology Academy, the first black-owned cosmetology school in the state of New Jersey. And now they're the only recipient on the East Coast of a grant from Beyonce's Be Good Foundation. This is a real moment. Like I said, I've been a Beyonce fan all my life. Let's have a look. I don't, I, I'm going to let you do okay. the honors. I'm a part of a big story, and that I also have a duty to make sure that stories such as his and all African American history is known. You got this one here. There's one. Retired Air Force veteran has made it his mission to collect cigarette butts. By the end of the year, Jim collected more than 24,000 cigarette butts, and he took it a step further by donating a penny to the American Lung Association for each butt he found. What he is doing is really helping the environment, um, along with bringing awareness. I think it's a movement that I hope picks up not only in this area, but across the country. A retired accountant in Lawrenceville is crediting his smartwatch for saving his life. I'm pretty damn lucky, is what I think. What do you think about this watch now? I think it's fabulous. My best friend now. I hate to say that in front of my wife. CBS News, Philadelphia.